Hi, my name is Eric Arsenault and I work on Project Squawk, which is a Java virtual machine entirely written in Java, intended and designed for small resource constraint devices. It happens to be the Java virtual machine that is running on Project Sunspot. This is a Java virtual machine that's specifically designed for resource constrained devices, where resources can be memory, battery power, or CPU power. So most VMs are built to work assuming that they're plugged into the wall. With devices such as this, where you have a battery, you have to really take care of how much power you use whenever you do any type of processing. And Squawk, Project Squawk is intended to be that solution. Today, there are multiple operating systems and multiple tools that people use to build applications for small devices like this or microcontrollers, and we want to standardize that by using Java across the board. And one of the advantages of Squawk is that it is one of the only research VMs available that is fully Java certified, and what that means is it's Java Micro Edition CLDC IMP compliant, which is a mouthful, but that's what it is. Most VMs are written in C, and porting a Java virtual machine to a new CPU or new microcontroller is really heavy work. It's very difficult. And the fact that our virtual machine is written in Java makes that job a lot simpler. People have a chance of being able to understand what they're porting. The Squawk Java Virtual Machine runs directly on the CPU. And the advantages this gives us is that we don't have to have an operating system consuming resources on resource limited devices such as the Sunspot. Um, and the fact that Squawk is running on a bare metal means that we also have finer control in terms of how much power is being used. We can put processes to sleep and allow the developers to focus on building their Java applications rather than worrying about how much power or how long the battery life is going to last on devices. The goal of Squawk is to be able to run as, in as small of a device as possible. We still consider these fairly large. There is a class of processors out there called microcontrollers that are significantly smaller and lower in power, and this is where we want to go with Squawk. The Project Squawk team is hopeful that someday when you pick up your shaver to shave or you go to make toast and pop that toast in, that when it pops up, Java has made the decision that your toast is done to perfection.